As you can see, we're at Michelin in Clermont-Ferrand. Michelin supplies all the LMP1 teams with tyres. With the new regulations, the tyre plays a central role as its width has been reduced. The aim is to reduce fuel consumption. Hello Pascal. Hello Fred. So this is where it all happens. Welcome to Michelin. You're working on the 2014 tyres. Here's one of last year's tyres. There's a big difference. It's almost 5 centimetres. 5 centimetres? But can you still obtain the same performance with a tyre 5 centimetres narrower as well as the same road holding? That's what we're aiming for, in fact. But it's not easy with less rubber on the track. Using a new tyre design, we have to find a way to provide as much grip as possible for the car and as much performance. So what's the solution? The right mixture of rubber? What's the secret? The tyre engineer. The secret? It's the right balance. Of course, the engineer can play about with the material, the architecture, the angles of the plies we're going to use, and then the shape of the tyre. On this side it's round, but here it's more or less flat. So this triangle between material, architecture and shape is what's going to get the maximum performance out of the car. The LMP2s have narrower tyres. Did you start from the same tyres to work on the new ones? No, as is the case with the prototypes, there's a big difference between the LMP1s and LMP2s. Even if the dimensions are now more or less the same, we started from a clean sheet. Are you going to supply the same tyres to all the teams? Or bespoke rubber for Toyota, Porsche, Audi? We've got our own philosophy at Michelin. We're going to develop a tyre for each car. Really? But at the end of development, each team can test the other's tyres. That's how we make sure that we don't give an edge to one team or another. You're the only supplier for LMP1s. Why? In fact, it's important to point out that LMP1 and LMP2 also are open to all tyre manufacturers. Anybody who wants to come and race can do so. So you don't have exclusivity? No. On the other hand, today all the big teams put their trust in Michelin. OK, let's get back to racing. Pierre, is the main aim to spend as little time as possible in the pits? With the double hybrid system, Fred, nobody knows how the tyres will cope with the additional power. There's only a single air gun to charge the four wheels after the fill-up with fuel or a possible mechanical intervention. As a result, the pit stops may be longer. So it's crucial to preserve the life of the tyres over several stints. At Le Mans, everybody knows that you can win the race in the pits, but you can lose it there too. Can you still manage to extend the life of a tyre today? A tyre change is around 20 seconds lost. So we have to try and come up with a tyre that's very quick, very consistent and which can cover the most kilometres possible. That's the perfect combination. OK, next time we'll be looking at the fuel. Now we're going to test the latest Michelin tyre. Green light, Pascal. Let's go, Fred. You've opened up a gap there. A little at the start, but I think you've got more power than me. Look, I'm flat out here. Yeah?